Now to Rainbow, where we continue to follow the community's recovery and rebuilding efforts nearly one year after the Holiday Farm Fire left hundreds along the McKinsey River without a place to call home. KZI 9 News reporter Mike Cerullo takes us to a new temporary housing site for survivors, including a look inside one of those units. Right now I'm standing in front of one of the 17 FEMA trailers that will belong to a family displaced by the Holiday Farm Fire by next week. That family will walk up these stairs, open these doors, and walk into their new home. And inside, they'll find a kitchen with some appliances, at least one bedroom equipped with blankets and sheets, and a bathroom. We'll sanitize this unit, clean it, close the doors, lock them, and tape the doors uh, with the barrier tape. Each trailer is roughly 800 square feet, and FEMA officials say they'll have internet so kids can complete classwork. Those who have been working for nearly a year to rebuild the community say the return of 17 families to the area is a sign of hope and progress. The hope that spreads throughout the town now, right? It's not just in Blue River where we started. It's radiating out, you know, throughout the Mackenzie. But the solution isn't permanent. FEMA officials say they're only able to provide the trailers until March. They say they're considering several options for what happens next, including possibly selling the trailers to the survivors. Maybe the trees aren't there, but the hustle, the bustle, the happiness in the town, that's what that hope is all about. So you spark a little bit of hope, put some action behind it, fuel the fire with the backing of a nonprofit and good people in the community, and now you're on your way back to recovery. Coming up in the 6 o'clock hour, the governor speaks out about these new FEMA trailers. Reporting in Rainbow, Mike Cerullo, KZI 9 News.